Hi Cancer, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. If you're cross-watching, the energies could be reversed. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. Thank you so much for hitting the like button as it does help support my channel. So Cancer, those of you that are here for the singles reading, there's a timestamp in the description box, but the first message we're going to get started with is the one that you are thinking about, the person you're currently dealing with. Let's see, who is this person that Cancer is thinking about? Who is this person? Okay. Well, they like you, okay, is what I'm getting. This person is very interested in you, Cancer. Um, could be a fire sign or another water sign, but there is a high level of interest we have here. So... What happened in the past? Three of Swords. You know, this person could have rejected you some way or made you feel rejected or they just were not showing the interest that they had. Now the Three of Swords also indicates a third party, so take it how it resonates. Not everybody is in a third party, but there's just been some type of rejection, okay? But they're interested in you, so let's see why. Why the Three of Swords? Four of Cups. Well, I mean, Cancer, it's just this person wasn't seeing what was in front of them when it was there. Okay, that's what happened in the past. Somebody here was not, you know, you could have felt like this person overlooked you or... It's really an energy of somebody here not paying attention to what was in front of them, but now they're interested. Not seeing you for who you were at the time is what I'm getting. So again, you could have been rejected by this person or there's an energy of them picking someone else with the Three of Swords. How does Cancer see this person? How does Cancer know who this is? You really like this person. Uh, again, water energy. This is someone that you, you know, were in the, you would have really done anything for them. It was kind of like an unconditional kind of love. Some of you guys really had this person on a pedestal. Okay, that's what I'm getting. But you just, we'll just, <laughs> you really liked him. Okay, um, Queen of Wands. You were really attracted to this person. Um, high level of interest on your part. They motivated you to work on yourself, okay? How do they see cancer? Now, this could have been a workplace situation. It doesn't have to be. But what I'm getting is it's like the rejection you felt by not being picked by this person could have definitely lit some type of fire here that caused you to want more for yourself and I do see that you guys may have took taken this pain you felt from the situation and, and transmuted it into something better for yourself okay because it looks to me like some of you cancers are in this energy of mastering self or mastering a skill And it's, you had to redirect, you had to redirect yourself. Like you went from putting, pouring all of yourself into this person to pouring all of your, you know, all of your self into you, all of your emotions into you. How do they see cancer? They know you don't trust them. They see you as you have your guard up.
How do they feel? How do they feel? Guys, they're really interested in you. The grass was not greener on the other side, and it may have taken this person some time to realize that. They see you as very attractive. You know, they feel like... They feel this attraction, this really strong attraction towards you. Like, you excite them. And I'm getting somebody wants a fresh start with you. But they know you don't trust them, or they know that you'll, your guard is up. Because the Nine of Wands, they see you as someone you know has been, who has been through something. And I feel like they're the ones who put you through it. And so, yes, they want to start over. They want to start fresh with the uh, Ace of Wands. But there's an energy here of them not really expecting you to open up. Could have been a Sagittarius involved for some of you. Yeah, King of Swords. So you're just coming across as aloof now, detached, logical. Okay, um... There's an energy of this person knowing that you are mainly interested in doing what's best for yourself. But now they're interested, guys. Now this person wants you. Nine of Cups, the Page of Wands. I feel like, you know, this person at one point was like your wish. But they chose someone else. Or they chose a, an, another direction. They went in the opposite direction. And it's because of the Four of Cups. They didn't see what... what they had when it was in front of them. They just didn't see it. They weren't paying attention to who you truly were at the time, Cancer. But now they are. What do they want? Could be dealing with an air sign, okay? The King of Swords or somebody has strong air placements. What do they want from Cancer? What do they want from Cancer right now? Spirit, what do they want from Cancer? To turn things around. Another chance, guys. The Will of Fortune. Um, fixed Energy, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio. This person just wants uh, to turn things around. Queen of Swords, but, you know, there's an energy here of them thinking you hold some type of grudge. Yeah, guys, they want to change the ending. Like, however something ended between you and this person really bothers them. And, and it has a lot to do with the fact that they weren't really giving you a, a lot of, uh, like, they weren't really giving you the time of day. Like, they weren't really seeing you for who you were. And it's like, they see it now. And it's an energy of them feeling like you're special, but why now? I'm going to ask that question, but they want to change the ending. They don't want it to end like this. I'm also getting like somebody wants to reverse. <laughs> somebody wants to reverse all these swords. They want to take them out of your back, but I feel like they're the ones who placed them there. So why all of a sudden... Page of Pentacles, they've learned something new about you. There's been some type of new information. Let's see. This person's watching you, Cancer. Okay, is what I'm getting. So, why now? Well, because they've seen something new. They've learned something new. I felt this person got very curious about what you were up to, and they went searching for information whether this was talking to other people or viewing your social media. This is definitely some type of an epiphany somebody's having. That's why now. 
because they watch you. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck for what you're not seeing. You come across as someone who is genuinely happy. Whether you are or not, this person believes you to be happy. They want some of that energy. What do they like about Cancer the most? What do they like about Cancer the most? Spirit, what do they like about Cancer the most? You're loyal. Your, you, your efforts, the efforts you put in. Your efficiency. You seem to do things correctly to this person. You're like, you're focused. And, and again, I don't know. How, I mean, they have to be watching you to know this about you. But I do feel like there is a burden they want to get off their chest. The hanged man. This is an epiphany that this person is having. That they went in the wrong direction. The world. Some of you guys have become successful in something and they know about it. And that's what they like about you. Your willingness to accomplish whatever you, whatever your goals are. You just come across as someone that when you want something, you're going to go get it. And you're going to do what it takes to get it. Like you're committed to success or you're committed to um, achieving something. More fixed energy. Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. We also have Capricorn. Virgo. So what are their next actions towards cancer? Some of you guys also, like, I really feel this person sees you as willing to get up and move on from things that aren't working for you. Like, you have the ability to just close out a book or, you know... You have the ability to just walk away from things that need to end in your life. You come across as someone who's loyal, mature, and they find that sexy. Let's see, what are their next actions? Potential next actions towards cancer. Potential next actions towards cancer. Ten of Pentacles. Hmm, why the Ten of Pentacles? Four of Pentacles. So there's really just an energy to ask around about you here. Okay, I feel like this person is curious as... They're curious if you are in a long-term relationship. They're curious where you stand with them. The thing is, though, with the Four of Pentacles, this is somebody that's going to be doing this without your knowing. You see how in the Ten of Pentacles, there's like these people talking and then there's this man eavesdropping, you know, intuitively, I'm feeling like this person is really trying to see what people know about you. But it's, it's not them actually coming forward. Okay, it's not them actually... Because I feel like if they are in another relationship, there's an energy of them holding on to that other relationship, their next actions, not being able to get out of it. The moon being here, there's some type of illusion. There, this person is not seeing something correctly. So especially if they're in another connection, I don't see them leaving the other connection in the immediate future. I see them wanting to, <clears throat> excuse me. I see them wanting to. But they second guess it a lot. They second guess if leaving something is in their best interest. And I feel like with the current astrology here, this person is really going through it emotionally. They don't know what's up and what's down, what's left or right. It's, you know, I feel like wherever they're at provides them a sense of security. And they're holding on to that security as much as possible. And the security is, is something's already established here. And so they're bored where they're at, though, that's for sure. 
But I feel like this person has a tendency to get bored. Um, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Pisces energy. But it's telling me they're seeking freedom. Like they want freedom with the Knight of Wands, the star. The moon, this is someone having, um, they're at war with their their domestic side and their wild side. And it's just like this month, the rest of the month of September, this person has this urge, this impulsive urge to be free and to, you know, walk on the wild side. But again, guys, I just see them holding on to whatever is providing them security right now. That's what they're holding on to. Let's see what their hidden truth is. Spirit, what is this person's hidden truth? What is their hidden truth? That they're becoming a better person? Bottom of the deck, I have too much to lose. So I feel this person is working on themselves. Let's see. I wish things could be different. So how are they becoming a better person? How are they becoming a better person? Temperance. <laughs> Sagittarius energy. Uh, they're becoming more balanced emotionally or they're trying to. I feel like this person is also trying to have patience. There's also an energy of, you know, them being more in touch with their higher self in the future here. Let's take a look at the singles. Only take the messages that resonate, guys. All right, let's see. Okay, single cancers. We're going to do who's coming in for you, single cancers, and what's coming in. Who is coming towards the single cancers, please? Judgment. Could be a fixed sign. That's Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. What is coming towards cancer? Eight of Swords. Hmm. Clarify the Eight of Swords, please. Queen of Swords. I have to say, there might be some type of catty comment somebody gives you cancer. There's like some type of catty comment, um, possibly from a uh, feminine energy. doesn't have to be, but the Queen of Swords is a feminine energy, male or female. But there is a comment coming in, to, uh, you know, from someone that may be holding a grudge towards you or that harbors some type of resentment or jealousy here. And I feel like the point of this uh, comment is to make you feel insecure about yourself. So, take you know, don't listen to this person. Anyone who tries to talk down to you is like a backwards compliment or someone trying to tap, talk down to you or make you feel bad about yourself. I feel like in the moment that happens, recognize that that's what's happening. That you're not their opinion or you're not the opinion they're trying to place on you. Okay, is what I feel is coming towards you. Now, the love interest coming towards you, judgment. And I have to tell you guys, this is the message I'm getting. It is somebody you have unfinished business with. So that is the message spirit is wanting to highlight, whether you like it or not. And you know, this is somebody that you think is deceptive, somebody that is sneaky. And this person is feeling like you two have unfinished business here. 
You guys have been very distant from one another lately. They want a second chance with the judgment card. Okay. Five of Cups. Let's see. Clarify judgment, please. Aquarius energy doesn't have to be, but this is definitely somebody here that is wanting to offer you some type of heartfelt message. Like they want you to see that they're more open this time. I feel like somebody here is coming in to make you some type of promise that they actually broke the, in the first place. So this is somebody who broke a promise with you wanting to re-promise you something. They were deceptive towards you, could have even cheated on you for some of you. I feel like you would have known that, but... Somebody could be a car salesman, specifically. Okay, this is general, but I am seeing something to do with vehicles, okay, or travel. Yeah, they want to reunite. They want a successful uh, reconciliation here. Okay, so just be ready. Someone's coming in for some of your attention. They think, ooh. This person is under the impression they're blocked. That you may have blocked them. Or that there's blocks in communication here. But just expect a message from someone who really disappointed you. That's what I'm getting because they want some of your attention. They want to start things back up again. Okay. Um, heavy fixed energy. Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. I also, it could be another Cancer. Or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I also have Libra here. All right. We're going to do cross watchers. Aries through Pisces, you watch their sign. Only take the messages that resonate. Um, Cancer, those of you that are, you know, dealing with new people right now, I do want to highlight the fact that you should be very cautious with whoever's coming into your life. Six of Cups wanted to fly out. Somebody you have history with is holding on to you. Um... But just be cautious of any new energies. Make sure people are putting in the work to earn your trust. Okay. And with Mercury being in retrograde, you can explore options, but I just don't think it's a time to make any permanent decisions. I feel like the way you see people right now is going to change after the retrograde. All right, Aries through Pisces for Cancer. If you are dealing with an Aries, this Aries is emotionally withdrawn. I feel like this Aries actually is not only emotionally withdrawn from you, but withdrawn from everything and everyone. Um, this Aries could have a strong Virgo placement, but I just feel like this Aries is interested in being introverted and in solitude right now. If you're dealing with a Taurus, Taurus is uh, emotionally unavailable, okay? I feel like they want a clean slate with you, Cancer, but it's like this Taurus is having a negative ego problem. I feel like they're afraid to express emotion. They're trying to come across as someone who's in control of their emotions, but it's, it's actually biting them in the ass because I feel like this person is not, they're not living the way they want to live. You're dealing with a Gemini. This Gemini is non-committal. If you're dealing with another Cancer, this Cancer wants to move things forward with you. They want to talk to you. If you're dealing with a Leo, this Leo would like to come together. Some of you guys, it's a reunion. Others of you, it's just coming together in general. If you're dealing with a Virgo, this Virgo is heartbreak broken over you. Some of you guys could have been in a third party with this Virgo, but Whatever the situation is, they are still heartbroken here. If you are dealing with a Libra, 
this Libra is either blocked you or, you know, they're pushing you away right now. They could be giving to another situation. But there's an energy here, Cancer, of them still wanting to give to you. I feel like this Libra has a, has a problem with wanting multiple options. If you are dealing with a Scorpio, this Scorpio wants to communicate. They're, they're having a spontaneous urge to reach out right now. If you are dealing with a Sagittarius, this Sagittarius is going through a phase of introspection. I feel like they're walking away. Okay, towards something else. If you are dealing with a Capricorn, this Capricorn has a guard up. They want to communicate, but I don't even see their... I don't see it moving past surface level communication. If you're dealing with an Aquarius... This Aquarius is feeling left out in the cold by you. If you're dealing with a Pisces... This Pisces is restless over you, Cancer. Alrighty, those are your messages. Until next time, bye.